guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another update for the Panners Pan, which is a collab that was started by Elizabeth as so many of the projects that I'm doing. Um, and this is all about other panners, about like the community basically. Um, we choose specific other panners that we really like watching and we choose products that fit them like one way or another. So let's jump right in. So first of all, I am working on the NARS Albatross highlighter and this is for Laura from Laura Force. Um, she is really good at going through highlights and I'm a little bit slower. Um, so yeah, this is the one that I'm working on. As you can see, I do have some nice pan going on, but um, <laughs> I've still got quite a way to go. My goal is to finish this one off. I feel like it's like this is a forever pan there isn't really an end date to it so i just want to set like some bigger goals and just see where i end up at some point so this one i'm making nice progress but there also still is a lot more progress to be made basically um let's see then one that i can be pretty quick about i'm wearing this one today so that's good um but the gosh on stage lip uh, cool lip jam even um, that I rolled in here for Elizabeth because this was in a project that I've done with her previously. I have not really used yet except for today. I'm really close I think on finishing off another lip gloss so I hope I can use this one a little bit more after that. But uh, yeah that's that one. It's like the taste is nice because it has kind of like a bubble gummy taste but it is pretty sticky as well. Um, which is fine. I just need to make sure I don't put too much on because I feel like then my lips are just gonna get stuck together basically. Anyway, moving on to the next one, the Naked Palette. And as we all know, when you're talking about the Naked Palette, you're talking about Ember Up. So yeah, that is that one. And in here for Ember, I am working on the shade right here, um, Virgin. And I'm hoping to finish that one off as well. It is the one that I use as kind of my brow bone highlight every single day at the moment. So the pen is growing nicely. I can see kind of around the pen as well. There's kind of a little dip starting to form like on the, on the side of the pen as well. So that is really nice. Um, and it goes, you can see a bit better because it's hard to properly show you the pen here, but yeah, happy with my progress there. I know it's still gonna take like a little while. These uh, shadows are definitely like hardly pressed enough. There's enough in there. So it's not like you gotta go through them in a month's time, but we're making nice progress. We're using it every time we're using makeup, or at least I am. So that is good. Then the only nail polish that is not in my project polish in any of the projects I've ever done, the Zoya nail polish in Aurora. This one is for Joy. Um, she is very much into nail polish. Um, so I could not do anything else than roll in the nail polish for her. Um, and I've used this one twice this month. I'm wearing it right now as well. Um, I really love it because it has this like holographic glitter all throughout it. And like, it's it's a dark color, but that holographic glitter just makes it really, really nice and interesting to like always be looking at. Anyway, um, I've used it twice. And like technically I could make a new mark, but I feel like if I try, it's probably gonna be like it, it's gonna become one thick mark. So I've decided not to mark this yet and hopefully I can mark it again by next time. Like I'm using this like at least once or twice pretty much every month, but um, it's nail polish. So it doesn't go that quickly, but uh, yeah, that's that one. And then lastly, in the Urban Decay palette, I have a shadow for Paula from A Beauty Girl Make Me Do It. And for her, I'm working on the purplish color right here. Purple, pink, definitely palette colors. Um, I've used it once. <laughs> I have it on my lid right now. Um, it's just because I realized that this shade is actually really close to um, the purple that I have left in my Panda palette. So yeah, <laughs> um, I'm hoping I can finish that one off in about a month or so and then like I can focus a whole lot more on the one in here. Um, I definitely do see that this one is way better quality. The purple, like when I put them on, like the shift of this one, because this is kind of like it has a pinky shift to it. It's um, more 
interesting like there's more dimension to the shade i guess and also the la colors one that is in my panda palette i just see like when i put it on it's fine but after a few hours it really starts to fade because the quality is just not as good as like this shade uh, and this shade stays on all day so yeah ow. <laughs> um, that is uh, what i've been doing with this one not too much yet but i hope in about a month's time i can get more progress on this one and like i said kind of the same for this one so it's kind of a mix when i look at the products here like some of them i'm working on pretty much every day some of them like instead of once a day it's more like once a month but we're making progress they're in here and soon enough there will be more progress on all of them i'm pretty sure so yeah that is uh, it for today thank you guys very much for watching and i hope to see you in one of my next videos Bye bye